I have just a little bistro glass here that I've sketched. And here it is, here's my subject. Okay, so this is one of those cases where I don't really have any highlights at the bottom in front, like I did up here. I have um, some that I see through the glass, so I'm just gonna make them a slightly bit darker and a little bit cooler. And I see a lot of them, so I have to be really careful. I'm gonna make the one that correlates to this one down there inside the glass, and it kind of just is, uh, it's kind of doing this thing where it's kind of going in all directions. And then there's one just to the right of that other facet, right there, kind of doing the same thing. There are sort of these lights that are out in front of the glass. I do see um, a light exiting out the back side of the glass, and I'm going to make, maybe I should put that in, make that pretty warm because I, it's a darker value than the highlights. And again, it's one of those things where the light is spreading out in an arc and I don't want a hard edge on it. I want it to look like it's coming from that glass. Is there a rule of thumb for putting in the, <coughs> the lights first? A lot of people say put them in the last. So Save the highlights for the last. But. I always feel more comfortable putting in my lightest lights and my darkest darks first because then I know the range in which I'm working. Mm. Then I can pair all the other values mm -hmm. and color temperatures mm -hmm. to the lightest lights and the, the darkest darks. It's odd because the outer edges of the glass almost disappear. There are some interesting little mm, dark things that are sort of doing this that relate to the structure of the glass. And on this side, it's, again, not on the outer edge of the glass, but it's just inside from it. And it's just a little wispy thing that kind of disintegrates as it goes up here. I'm looking for things that are going to tell me about the fluted quality of this glass. So here's something that I see. I see the structure matches what I'm actually painting. I see a dark shape right here that follows that, and then disappears and reappears on the other side of that flute. So that's kind of fun to see how the glass distorts what you see behind it.